And now let's come to the next segment and that is hydroponics, the most sought maybe 15, 20 minutes back. And I'm very sure some of the people will now shift their focus from hydroponics to basics and that is need of the hour. Now what is hydroponics? What does it mean? Let us keep things very simple. You remember, agriculture is an activity that you need to do on ground. It can, cannot be done on Excel sheets. It cannot be done on laptops. It's to be done on the field. And on, once you're on the field, you cannot have a laptop in your one hand and then go inside the farm. That, that doesn't happen. So what should we know? How should we do it? It's something to understand, get it into our blood, get it registered in our mind. That will help you in implementing basic science while doing it actually on the field. So what is hydroponics? What does it mean? It's a Greek word. I'm sure most of you know it. Hydro means water and ponics means working. So hydroponics means working with water. That's all. But let's analyze the definition. The definition in itself says working with water. It doesn't say working with plants. And that is what I'm trying to tell you. Hydroponics is not working with plants. It's working with the water and water is taken by the root only. It is given to the root only. So hydroponics can take care of the root. You are supposed to take care of the aerial part, the upper part. Now let's assume again, I'm trying to keep things very simple. This is how I have learned. This is how I have arrived at the conclusions. Let's have three plots, very similar in each and every respect. One being grown in soil, another one being grown in cocoa peat or open hydroponics, and third one being grown in closed hydroponics or in water. Simple. I will, I will tell you in detail open hydroponics and closed hydroponics. Just wait, just have some patience, but here, for the sake of clearing your concept, let me tell you, there are, these are three different pl same plants, exactly same in every respect. Only difference is that one is being grown in soil, the other one in cocoa peat, and third one in water. Now what has changed? Except the growing media, nothing. Nothing has changed. It's only the growing media that has changed. And how does growing media matter to the plant? That we should discuss. Now, Assume we take these three plants and put them in three greenhouses. Three greenhouses having same conditions inside. And what are those conditions? The temperature be 25 degree, relative humidity be 50%, all the three. And now let us put these three plants, one each in one greenhouse. Now let's ask a few questions to ourselves. Are these plants going to behave differently? No, because plants grow because of plant physiology and plant physiology does not change with the change in growing media. Or does that mean uh, um, if they start behaving differently, does that mean uh, they will change their behavior? They will change their system of growing? No. Now, what has then changed? The only change that has happened is in roots because roots are in three different medias. Now, even if the root feels the change, is root going to change its working uh, uh, system? No, it will not change. It was only one way of growing. Plants worldwide know only one way of growing. Whether in USA, whether in Brazil, whether in India or anywhere, they know only one way of growing. Whether you grow them in soil, you grow them in NFT, hydroponic soil, they know only one way of growing. They have, they just need good water, they need uh, a good nutrients, they need carbon dioxide, and that's it. Hydroponic does not make changes. Plants don't change their behavior with a change in uh, growing media. Then if nothing has changed, then what has changed or what is to change? What is to change? is a big question and what is to change is our mindset towards the activity. We now need to think that if we want to do hydroponics, we need to understand the root zone requirement and we need to understand the growing media. And then the third thing is we need to create a balance between the two. And if we do it successfully, 70% of take care will be taken by the 
aerial part of it by the, and controlling the environment or by mastering those 70% uh, horticultural skills, it will take care of 70% of the things and hydroponic has nothing to do here. Then comes the 30% part of it and that is what comes under the scope of hydroponic. So what should be definition for hydroponics? The definition for hydroponics should be managing your root zone, that's all. How to manage your root zone? The rest all is same. And root zone means making things available to plant as per its needs, not as per your needs or your expectations. No. Plants will not get adjusted to your setup. You need to get adjusted to their system of working. So hydroponics is the art of balancing the requirements of a root and in respect to the growing media. That's all. And that's what we are going to, I am going to tell you. I'm very sure. Remember, within these two hours, it's not possible to tell you everything in detail. But at least and at least, I have tried my level best to touch all those points, which at least you should know before you think of developing a hydroponic farm. There are a lot many people have asked me about the hydroponic systems. Somebody asking me A-frame system, somebody NFT, grow bags, DFT, floating graph, so many, so many. Please don't get these systems are not going to do anything for you. Unless you understand this basic system, these systems are not going to deliver anything. So remember, hydroponic has two basic systems. One is the open system, the other one is the closed system. What happens in the closed system? Nutrients are applied to the plant and whatever excess is there, it is collected back and recycled back into the plant. So closed system, continuous system where nutrients enter from one point and come out from another point. And then from the, uh, the point from uh, where they are coming out, nutrients are again uh, collected and sent back to the uh, crop. This is closed system. And then comes the open system. In this system, this is very similar to this. Little difference here, whatever excess nutrients comes out of the plant, it's not collected, it's allowed to waste. These systems are normally known as drain to waste systems. So whatever system you intend to install, it, all systems belong to basic these two categories of system. One is open and another one is closed. And you need to know, you need to know how these both systems work. What are the precautions that you are supposed to take by, uh, so that you can handle these systems properly? When I talk about the open system, it is something like uh, growing in grow bags, uh, open traps um, or um, grow slabs. These all things come out under open system and closed system that we technically um, understand is the uh, real hydroponic, NFT, Dutch bucket, uh, aeroponics, I, there are a few more, there are a few more, but possibly these are the most popular one. And let's now go ahead and see, uh, try to um, uh, discuss these systems in little more details. Now look at the pig. The pig you see on the left hand side is an NFT farm. Uh, again, um, uh, within our country uh, in uh, NCR, um, I was very closely associated with the project. And let me tell you the story. This project, when installed, stopped functioning for three years. It was after three years when we tried, to, when we intervened and make it run, and it's now growing one of the finest quality uh, produce. Just for your information, I'm telling you that if you know the art, you can do it. Uh, otherwise, nothing else. And this is an NFT system. The, you, the one you see on the left hand side is an NFT uh, system. NFT is nutrient film technique. And then there are more pics on your um, screen. There's aeroponics wherein the plant roots are sprayed only, sprayed with nutrient solutions. And this system is more popular and best suited to those crops which are grown for seed purposes. Suppose something like potatoes, wherein you want to grow potatoes for seed purpose, aeroponics is preferred. Because the moment your seed matures, you can pick one by one, one by one. If you do it in soil or any other way, you will have to extract the entire fruit in one go. There is ever, uh, every possibility. Some of the seeds will be matured, matured and some of these will not be matured. So 
that is the advantage with this system you can pick mature seeds any time you want that is aeroponics and then comes the floating graph floating graph is a system wherein plants are made to float with the help of a, some sort of a support these are made to float on a uh, say something like a tank or a, uh, something like that and uh, uh, these plants stay there pretty long time but in fact they complete their life cycle there itself and in all the three cases nutrient solution is uh, used all the three have their advantages all the three have their disadvantages some of them are suited to some particular group of crops all of them are not suited to all the crops all the crops uh, we'll come to that in our next slides this is open system that I was quoting you though the previous slide was about the closed system wherein neutral solutions is continuously recirculated and this is the open system wherein you see three pigs open traps on top left it is open traps traps are basically polypropylene made uh, big bags you can see these are laid on the ground these are very long 100 meter long 50 meter long you can lay these on the ground fill these with any media any media say cocoa peat or any other thing and then grow things uh, plants into it the one you see on the right hand side is simple individual grow bags capsicum being grown nicely grown no problem with this system and the lower left is grow slabs wherein instead of bags slabs are laid down cocoa peat slabs are laid on the ground and in certain some cases three plants are in, um, uh, put in one slab or in certain cases if the crop density we can manage higher Four uh, plants are also sown. So, I want to tell you is make sure that there are only two systems in hydroponics. One is closed system. Another one is the open system. In closed system, continuously neutral solution is run, and in open system, it's allowed to waste. Then, what is the basics? How can we run a cultivation system efficiently? There is a very important term you must know. These all hydroponic systems, but closed ones, these work on the principle of flow rate. And what is flow rate? Again, let me explain it in the very simple terms. Flow rate in simple terms means the quantity of nutrient that is entering and the quantity of nutrient that is coming out from the other end. We have a grow channel. We have a long channel, a particular volume of uh, nutrient solution is entering from one point and a particular volume is coming out of the uh, other, from the other point. The growth of the plant will depend on the flow rate of this nutrient solution. And how can, how can um, it be determined now or how can we manage uh, flow rate is to ensure that the amount of nutrient that is entering and the amount of nutrient that's coming out is same. That means you are maintaining a similar flow rate. And what will happen if the flow rate is similar, the plants will get enough time and equal time to take up nutrients. Let me further explain this uh, flow rate. It is the fundamental principle. Don't be under that impression. Most of the people are under this impression that uh, hydroponics means pipes filled with water, run the water, and uh, uh, that's all. That's my job. That's not true for hobby purposes, terrace gardens or something like small, that may work here and there. But if you intend to do it commercially, you need to know what the flow rate means. You see the pig, you see this gentleman drinking water. Now, if, if I ask you a question, do you think in this the position he is holding the bottle, is it possible for him to drink this water? I'll say no. Because the way he is, he is holding the bottle, it is not possible for water to come out of the bottle and get into his uh, um, mouth. It's not possible. Let me try it for you. To make things more simple, let me try it for you. Let me take some safety measures firstly. Let me use an apron. Just to make you understand the actual principle of flow rate is I have a bottle of water in my hand the way this gentleman has. I want to drink water out of it. If I hold water like this, water like this, water is not coming out. 
it's not coming out if i tilt it more water will start coming out it's coming out it's coming out in the same proportion as it is getting in this is the maintenance of flow rate water coming out and the same amount of water is getting into my mouth now if you haven't disturbed water uh, flow rate what is going to happen this is going to happen you won't be able to drink the water if you have a disturbed flow rate same way if you have a disturbed flow rate of nutrient with plants plants cannot take up the nutrients so nft is all about maintaining the correct flow rate how you should arrive at it how it should be done i will let you know but at least and at least for the time being know that flow rate is the most important thing that a hydroponic grower who intends to go for nft system needs to know about then let's move to the second slide there is always a confusion some people asking me whether we should use uh, rectangular pipes or we should use uh, round pipes the first thing is in order to maintain as you now know it's important to maintain that flow rate now you need to understand the principle of these both systems both uh, these round pipes and uh, the uh, rectangular pipes in circular pipes you will have to maintain higher water column and in those rectangular pipes you need to maintain a thin nutrient flow when you maintain a higher water column you will use more of water when water column rises there is always a possibility that oxygen that is present in your water will move out because of capillary so oxygen dissolved oxygen present in your round pipes will always be less than that of uh, uh, rectangular pipes so it's always better to use rectangular pipes and the second important thing is let's now see the uh, image you see right now on your screen is of the section of a rectangular pipe and that of an uh, round uh, round pipe in the round pipe you see the root zone space for the root starts narrowing down the moment it starts growing the space will narrow down because it's a round pipe so the growth of the root will be uneven these will get choked in rectangular this thing is not going to happen the roots have uniform space to move left right center so always prefer rectangular pipes however choice is yours now what we should uh, consider what are the factors that we should take into consideration when we uh, want to select a hydroponic system is first thing remember all hydroponic systems are all crops are not suited to hydroponic systems and there is no single system in hydroponic that can suit all the crops it's not possible so you before selecting a system you must select a crop you intend to grow for short term crops with a crop cycle of 40 to 60 days nfts are best and for wine type of an crops which take longer periods the uh, open systems are uh, suited and in nft as you know that these rectangular pipes are square pipe these are laid on the tables the height of the table should always be around 75 cm that makes it easy for labor to work then there are so many factors it's tough to get into each and every of them but versatility of the uh, system real uh, reliability of it its cost its cost of installation its cost of operation its co uh, maintenance cost these all things you need to take into the care Uh, consideration and then only you should finalize a system connect with us on facebook instagram twitter and subscribe the youtube channel of agriplus tech india private limited and press the bell icon to get notification when we upload a new video